Wow, yikes. Pleasantly surprised with that. Welcome back everyone to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we're going to talk about the difference between a solid and a pearl cover stock. So what is the difference? So when they make and design reactive resin, its base form is actually a solid, like the Axiom Solid here. Pearl, on the other hand, is the solid with an extra pearl added. So given the equivalent strengths of the two cover stocks, like the two Axioms here, the pearl actually has more hook potential overall with the same surface on it. So for our test today, we're gonna throw both Axioms out of box with their box finish. Next, we're gonna sand the Axiom Pearl down to the same 2000 grit that we have on the solid. Then finally, we'll polish both of them up to make them the same as the Axiom Pearl. So a lot of times when the manufacturers create a pearl version of a ball, they'll use a weaker cover stock and add the pearl additive in. So in doing that, it actually creates more separation between the two balls. The solids end up hooking a little bit earlier and the pearls get further down the lane and hook a little bit harder down the lane. Now with the Axioms, they have the same NEX cover stock, just one solid, one pearl. But when it comes to a ball like the Halo and the Halo Pearl, it's actually two very different base resins. The pearl actually has a much weaker cover stock to get it further down the lane and corner a little bit harder. So in doing so, it actually creates some separation in the reaction and it gives each ball its own purpose. So the pattern today is Mercury, 40 feet. So for me, I think the Axiom Solid will outhook the Axiom Pearl with their box finishes, but with the same surface preparation, I think the Axiom Pearl is gonna outhook the solid just by a little bit. Now this is an experiment we've been wanting to do for a long time on this channel, but yeah, don't be afraid to experiment with surfaces and try something different than how the ball is out of the box. In worst case scenario, you can always put it back. That's enough chit chat. Let's go see Jungo on the lanes. Jungle's back, a little solid versus pearl action. Axiom solid, axiom pearl. And we're gonna see what the difference really is. Get lined up here with the solid and establish a nice baseline, go from there. Pretty good shot there with the solid. Let's throw in the same line with the axiom pearl out of box and we'll see if we have to adjust it all for that. Feet on 27, 13 at the arrows. Close to the same shot there off the hand. The Axiom Pearl just skidded a little further down lane. Didn't quite make it back to the pocket. With that being said, I'm gonna have to move a couple boards to the right here and get lined up. Testing these balls on 40 foot mercury. Exactly the type of pattern I'd be using the Axioms on, symmetric solids. So break point's gonna be around nine or 10. All right, let's move a couple boards right here with the Axiom Pearl. Let's see if we can get a strike here. So that was pretty identical strike to the Axiom Solid, but I had to move my feet two boards to the right just to have that ball square up. So let's try these balls at the same surface, see what happens. All right, we're back from bark sand in the balls. Fresh 2K on both with the 500 underneath. Let's just throw that line again where I struck with the Axiom Solid and then we'll throw the pearl that sanded on the same line. Shot there with the solid. Same line as the previous shot before we sanded the pearl. Let's throw the sanded pearl in that same line. Let's see if it can hook enough now. Wow, that was pretty sweet actually. It didn't hook as early as I thought it would with that big surface. Still got down the lane and turned the corner pretty nice. Pleasantly surprised with that. Let's jump three left. Let's see if this can recover. That ball hooks like crazy now with the same surface as the solid. So I'm gonna throw the solid in that line that left the solid nine with the pearl. And we'll see if this comes back and recovers the same. That looked pretty ugly, honestly. Definitely rolls earlier than the pearl. The pearl cut through the pins really nice. Left the nine pin. The solid rolled a bit sooner. Didn't have enough pop down lane. Almost left me a 5-7-10. Yikes. <laughs> 
You know, a very smart man once told me, if you have trouble hooking the ball in the long, sand your pearl. That'll hook. Okay, let's go two more left, see if they can recover. All right, there's the limit. So actually, I think the pearl hooks a little bit more than the solid now off the same surface. Now that we established what they do with 2000 grit, let's polish them up. Simu, get to work. <laughs> Halfway through the vid, question time with Jungle. As we just seen, the Axiom Pearl comes out of the box polished and we sanded it down to 2000, it hooks like crazy. Have you ever tried sanding a pearl that comes out of the box shiny? Or polished a solid ball that comes out of the box dull? Let me know down in the comments. All right, we're back after Simu polished my balls. All right, let's go back to the line where I struck out of the box with the Axiom Solid. I'm assuming this is gonna hook a lot less and a lot later. Actually, that felt really good off my hand. It really didn't pick up that much. Left that Swisher 2.7. We're gonna have to bump maybe three boards to the right here. Pretty good shot there. Move three boards to the right with my feet. And as you can see, that ball just hooks a lot less. Picks up a lot later. So let's throw the same line there with the Axiom Pearl, which is now back to its box finish. Really good shot there. As you can see, the Pearl just picks up a little more on the back end. Cut through the pins a little bit harder than the solid, the same surface. Pearl hooks more, man. Pearl additive makes it hook more in the back end. More responsive to friction for sure. All right, I'm gonna move five left with my feet, slow everything down, and hopefully magnify the difference between the two when they're polished. Hey, that's a Simu leaf. That actually felt really good off the hand. I threw it just like I wanted. A hair too far down the lane left a little weak, swishy 810. So I think this will strike if I can throw it the same. Yeah, I just hooked that couple boards more. Carried a strike where the saw left the Swisher 810. So hopefully that magnifies a little bit more for you so you can see, but I can really tell with my naked eye right now. Let's take it back to the shop. All right, Jungle's back from the lanes testing solid versus pearl and what the actual difference is when we change the surfaces and match them up. So we got the two axioms here, same core, same cover, just we got a little pearl additive in this guy here. So over the years, I've bowled on plenty of different patterns, lots of long patterns, and when I have trouble hooking the ball down lane uh, with my ASIM solid or a big tank like that, I would sand one of my pearls. One of the latest being like the Halo Pearl and that would really give me a good look on the long when I really didn't have much with my solid. So today I was really interested in this experiment and I really wanted to see if the pearl would hook more than the solid. So we started with the box finish, Axiom Solid at 2K, Axiom Pearl polished, and the results were as I expected. The Axiom Solid started up a bit earlier, hooked a little bit more, definitely smoother. Really good for the fresh patterns, heavy oil, and Axiom Pearl when it's polished, definitely really good for later in the day really turned the corner hard down lane. We then took the Axiom Pearl, dulled it up to 2K like the Axiom Solid here with little 500 underneath just to get those teeth going. Wow, did this ball hook like crazy. I was actually really surprised how much it hooked. It outhooked the Axiom Solid at the same surface by two to three boards, easy. Well, that's really good information for me for the future just in case the Axiom Solid just isn't enough and I can get that extra bite by sanding the Pearl. And then we polished both balls. Back to the original box on the Pearl, polished this guy up. As you can see here, still shiny. And the Axiom Solid really didn't hook as much as the Pearl did at all. So when they got the same surface prep, the Pearl additive really adds a couple more boards of reaction down lane. So in conclusion, don't be afraid to sand that pearl that's shiny. You can really get a ton of hook out of it when you really didn't think it could do that. Just to repeat my question down in the comments, let me know if you've ever gone really far away from the box finish. Axiom Pearl here comes polished. We sanded it down 502K and wow, did that ball hook. So let me know down in the comments what you did and how it reacted. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time. Hopefully a couple new balls coming out.